The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN. Great Britain's secret nerd army. Which internet giant is best at spying? And if I leave Facebook, where do I go? A Californian judge has ruled that Google could be breaking the law by using the contents of your emails to choose ads for your inbox. This controversial decision argues that Google scans your Gmail messages looking for secret info, breaking your privacy rights. But how effective is Google at spying on your emails to squeeze money from your pockets? We sent a reporter undercover to see who is better at spying on your personal info, Facebook or Gmail. I have created an online identity, the Ukrainian writer Mikhail Bulgakov, on Gmail and Facebook. On Facebook, Mikhail is interested in only one thing, beagles. Look at the beagles. On Gmail, Mikhail sends and receives messages only about beagles and cheese. Beagles, 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 beagles and cheese. Tous les jours brie. Gmail is upfront about how it spies on your personal life. Why this ad, it says. This ad is based on emails from your inbox. Nothing about cheese or beagles. Let's look in promotions. Empty. Come on, Google. Come on. Where is my ad for Four Paws Wee Wee Puppy Housebreaking Pads? Meanwhile, on Facebook. For a week now, I have been liking everything Beagle. I have been joining every single Beagle group. And I have been writing only about Beagles. Has Facebook sniffed me out? Here. Get important news from the Doggington Post. Brilliant, exactly what I want to read. Look at all these suggestions on something called Bing. Beagles for sale, Beagles for sale online, Beagles online, Beagles and buddies, Beagles on fire, Beagles on fire? They're not actually on fire. What films do I like? Wolverine, haha. <laughs> Perfect film for a beagle lover. It's like a beagle superhero. Facebook, congratulations. Your ads touch me where I think and where I feel. I'm over beagled. But Gmail, spy better. The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN, a virtual private network that allows you to surf the web securely and gives you anonymity online. Terrorists and international spy agencies. Beware, Britain is building an army of super geeks to launch a cyber attack on you. The secret plan was exposed by whistleblower Philip Hammond, the UK Defence Secretary, in an interview with fascist newspaper, the Daily Mail. But while Russia, China, the US and Israel are thought to have cyber armies, which they keep secret, Hammond is bragging about how Britain does not have one. Now, the Daily Mail is the salacious crumb to the British government's Jabba the Hutt, so wasted no time in publishing the real reason for this surprising revelation. <laughs> the article encouraged Britain's nerds to enlist in this virtual militia, where tasks could include breaking international privacy laws and sending drones to Pakistan to blow up a religious school. Sorry, Taliban training camp. The male said, you don't have to be as fit as a soldier. The overweight and weedy can apply, insulting the very people it intends to entice. Fat, weedy, a geek, want to kill children at the click of a mouse? Britain needs you. Internet dilemma of the week. If I leave Facebook, where do I go? Now, we all hate Facebook. Too many stalkers, too many ads, too few likes, too few shares, too few friends. So we needed to find somewhere else to go and I have discovered a great new website. It's called High Five. It's brilliant. Look, I can buy pets. 
pets you should buy. But hang on. Now, I'm not a zoologist, but I would argue they're girls. Hmm. I can buy and sell ladies. Delia A. Owned by Shelton D. Value $12 million. I can actually buy people as though they were slaves. High five. You've managed to bring back all the great things about the 19th century which we lost due to liberal social theory. The great thing about high five is all the people that you can meet. Kevell is a bit of a philosopher, okay, with a six pack. And he said, we're born alone, we live alone, we die alone. Just give me the illusion for a moment that I'm not alone. I'm going to say in the immortal words of Michael Jackson, may God forgive him, you are not alone. I think Kevell's going to be happy because I've shown him that he's not alone.